Hello YouTube, time for a video again. All my readers will know, I'm all about the uh, large aggressive Central American cichlids, like Wolfie here. Come on Wolfie. Well today's video is going to be slightly different. So what I'm going to do now is hand you over to my wife, Melanie. Hi YouTube. Right, today I just want to apologise for the lockdown routes. I really... I do apologise, I'm a bit embarrassed actually, but hey-ho. So today we're going to show you how we, me and Andrew, have escaped and done a nano tank. As you know, I did go to the shop and I bought a little nice nano tank, but I bought too many fish. And in that nano tank, we had plastic plants. Andrew says, well, if you need an upgrade, let's go and buy you one. So I was lucky, I got me upgrade and we've gone for the real plants. So we're going to take you through step by step of how we've set up our nano tank. So I hope you'll watch it to the end because I know it's not like Mr. Wolfie, it's not the big fish, but as in Andrew's words, let's get on it. Right, this is the wife's uh, little nano tank, what she brought home, if you remember, if you follow my channel. She brought this home and she said, I'm going to have one pet fish in it. So I thought she'd have a, a better and then that'll be it. Like, But what's happened, we've only had it, we've had it less than a month. What's happened, there's the, uh, the male better. So what's happened is uh, she keeps bringing fish home. We've, she's, we've got 12 cardinals, must admit though, they do look beautiful. We've got 12 cardinals, a male and a female better, and a pair of uh, electric blue rams, which are actually hiding at the moment. Oh, there's one. There's an electric blue ram. It's gone beyond aren't there. Yeah, so uh, we've, she's had this less than a month. Typical fish. She's going to be in a typical fish keeper. Always uh, buying too many fish for your tank and having to upgrade. So what's happened? She, even though she's only had this one month, well, uh, she's got an upgrade, and it's my job today to get it, get water in it. There's the better fish. Don't they look nice? Beautiful finish. Anyway, yeah, it's got this new tank, so it's my job today to get it, get water in it, and get it up and running. We'll pan across. So there, there it is. This one's uh, about 125 litres. I think that'll be about 30... US gallons, probably about 25 English and about 30 US. So it's about four to five times the size of what she, what she had before. So I hope she doesn't keep buying fish and then have to have another bloody upgrade. Anyway, I better get on this and get get some uh, get the filters running, get the substrate in, and get this tank up and running. Right, as you as you probably noticed, all the tanks I have, I do uh, I do like a black background. So we go down the same route with this one. We're going to paint the uh, back black. So what I use is a uh, emulsion paint just from your hardware store. I mean, we, I'm in the UK. This is from Wilco's. Just black emulsion. So it'll take quite a few coats, and uh, I'll, I'll get one coat on and show you. The first coat. Hardly covers, but when you get about when you get to about your fourth coat, it, it covers lovely. So let me just get a coat on. I'll quickly show you. Yeah, so like I just said, the the first coat hardly covers, but you've got to make sure you've cleaned the glass. Obviously, I like to use nail varnish remover to clean to to clean the glass, so it gets a bit of, get gets a decent key. Yeah, so the first coat is really really thin, but it just gives you a base. It might take three or possibly four so now we've got to do now we've got to do is sit there and wait for this one to dry so uh i'll be back right i've, I've had uh, four coats on it now and it's lovely and lovely and thick it look, i think it looks quite good i like to see a black background but what i must point out is uh it, this is not permanent 
Well, it is permanent, but it isn't permanent if you change your mind and you want to get it off. Because if you soak that with warm, soapy water and get like a Stanley blade, a razor blade or Stanley blade or a sharp scraper, you can take it off. I've done that in the past. It does come off if you want it to come off. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get this in there pushed in position. I'm going to get the substrate in, get some water in it, get the filters running. And we'll, I'll get back to you. So uh, I better get on this one. Right, we're, start, we're starting to fill up with water there. We've got some of the substrate in. I'm going to leave this overnight, and then tomorrow I'm going to put uh, pinch some substrate out of one or two of my other tanks, what's got uh, the beneficial bacteria all growing on it. We've gone for, not quite, it's not quite sand, but it's like a coarse grit. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a, a lover of sand, because I don't like vacuuming sand, because it's difficult, it all goes up your vacuum pipe. So this is kind of like... A coarse grit. Let's get a get a cap full of tap siphon. I'll put a little bit. I'll put a little bit extra in for good luck. Yeah. So we'll. Uh, get, I'm going to get it full. Get it full. Get the pump running. And tomorrow we're going to put some. Uh, I'm going to put. I'm going to put uh, a seeded sponge and uh, some seeded substrate gravel. Right. We're looking for bits and bobs to to scape. We're, we're going for the. Uh, a few plants in the tank and some like like twigs. This is behind my shed. This is my dumping ground. There's all the rocks what I accumulate. All this wood. There's some nice piece of bog woods here. Uh, chunks of slate and all that lot. So we're going to sort a few bits out from here. What she wants in in her in her tank. And we're going to have sort of few plant, live plants in it this time. Right, let's get on this. How about that bit? Oh. Yeah. You want that bit? We'll put that. We'll take all these bits, what look, what looks similar, what kind of match. That one looks all right. If it doesn't fit in the tank, we can always snap a bit off. In fact, we'll take to that's, that's a, that's a lovely piece. That one, I think that will fit in though. We'll take that. What have we got? Another piece. Yep. Probably got far too much. <laughs> but we'll uh, that little tiny piece. Yep. But these are these all kind of match. I think I must have collected these off the same. Off the same tree. Yep. These, these, I think these I've collected them a few years back off an oak tree, and they've all dried out. I've stripped the bark off them. They're going to float. So I know what we're going to do while we're getting ready. We're going to soak them in the bath. <laughs> well, we're not going to be using these for a couple of days. I'll probably end up snapping, snapping them up a bit to fit in the tank. We're, we're not much. I'm not a proper uh, aquascaper. I'm making up as I go along, but I sometimes think they're the ones what turn out the best. So we're out near these for a couple of days. So what we're going to do is soak them in the bathtub. Come on, then, love. Because we're going to float. We should have we should have thought about this weeks ago. We could have we could have soaked them in a water butt. Yeah, we'll we'll fill we'll top that up with water. We'll we'll leave them until we need them. Hopefully they'll absorb water overnight, and hopefully they'll sink. If not, we'll probably end up weighting them with a food rod. Anyway, we'll we'll get on this one and we'll crack on. Right, we're all full of water now. It's looking quite good, isn't it? Oh, well, I think so, anyway. We've got a load of... Pl we're going to put uh, real-life plants in it. The glass is full of uh, micro-bubbles. And we've only got one lamp. We've got one lamp there, but we've got the other lamp. We've got another lamp to go in the other end. So I'm quite... These are all the twigs and branches we've got out of the bath. Yeah, so they're still soaking up water and still sinking. Hopefully. They're still quite buoyant, but all these uh, micro bubbles, hopefully, will be gone in the morning. Yeah, so it's a nice and lit that end. This end's quite dark because we've got to uh, get the uh, light from the uh, little nano tank what we're upgrading from. Right, we've got it all scaped now. All the micro bubbles have disappeared, and we've been out this morning and we've been to the local fish store and picked up a load of live plants and a load of moss. So uh, I finished up taking all the twigs and branches out, out of the tank so we could uh, attach the moss to it. You, uh, tied it on with uh, bits of cotton and that and then we put some pebbles some pebbles and uh, planted the plants in there. And I, I'm quite proud of that. So I'm not really an aquascaper. As my regulars will know, I'm into the big Central American cichlids and you don't uh, scape your tank like that because all they do is rip it to bits. So for a first attempt... I think I could quite get into this, really. Let's have a closer look. 
Yeah, we're looking closer now. So we've got this substrate. It's a fine gravel, not sand, but fine gravel. And as I said before, the tank is ready cycled. We've got two sponge filters, one in each corner. The, the missus wanted sponge filters. She likes a sponge filter. We do have other filters, but we decided to go with a sponge filter. And then we've got the uh, mo moss tied to the uh, branches. Yes, we've got mature gravel from my up and running aquariums and we've got uh, sponges from up and running aquariums so that the tank is uh, instantly cycled so what all we're doing now is letting it settle and uh, acclimating the fish we've uh, stri stripped the nano tank down and we're acclimating the fish let's, let's have a look at these fish well at, at the moment they're just in bo bo bowls yeah so they're acclimating in their for a couple of hours and then we'll have them up in the tank. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that for a first attempt. Quite, I could quite get into it. Anyway, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, stop this here now and we'll uh, come back and have a look when the fish are in and the fish are settled. Right, we've, I've waited two days actually before I've uh, videoed this, but look at how good that's looking. It's, it's all settled nice, all the fish are in all the... They're all settled. So I'm going to get Melanie to explain and see if she can show you her fish. Melanie! What? Get here and show, and show the show YouTubers your fish. Right then, come on Melanie. I hope you're happy with this tank what I've escaped for you. Tell, tell them, show them what you got and tell them what you got. Hi YouTube. Right. Well, as you know, I bought far too many fish, which in a way... Has benefited because now I've got a beautiful tank. So here goes. We've got some cardinals. Let's have a look at what well, we've got. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of those. We've got a dozen cardinals. We've got a female fighter with a male. I don't really can't see. We them call them really. fighters over in the UK. Well, we did win the olden days. Some people, most people, especially in the States, call them Beth. Better fish now, beta, better. The, the uh, male's in there somewhere. Oh, he's going to come through. Come on. Anyway, we better. Here he... Oh, no. He's... We can't wait for him forever. Yes, we can. And I've got two electric blue rams. Can you see your rams? No. And normally they're right at the front. Right, we'll just have but a I've also got, if you look, I have some on some wood. This isn't bog wood, by the way, it's oak. I've got some octocinclus. That's it, octocinclus. Yeah, I got that right. Octocinclus are the, a nice grazing <laughs> little catfish, what uh, eats all the algae. Good for uh, planted tanks. There's one of my... Let's have a look. look. Oh, there's one of the blue rams. One of my blue rams. So there's electric blue ram. I have two of them. Two electric. And they're both, and they're going to come out in a minute. Here they come, little beauties. Oh, aren't they beautiful? And my, if you go round to the side and go that side, Andrew, you will get my male fighter. Oh, there he is. It's just the, the, the normal standard better, better fish. Beautiful coloration, but I think all these we're gone for. The, uh, she's gone for all the blues, the cardinal, yeah, the now, cardinals. Do him. do him now. There he goes. The car, the cardinals, electric blue rams, and the uh, electric blue better fish, and we ain't we ain't seen the octocinclus. There's one here. Can you see? No. There, by that plant. Anyway, uh, I think it's we're going. Here. I don't know. We're not going to get this. We can't go on forever with this one. Yeah. So uh, that that's it. Like it's got all the. Uh, it's got Turn all back the. So uh, we can see it all. Yeah, I'm quite, we're quite happy with that. I think Melanie's happy with it. Oh, I'm over the moon. I've got a tank of my own. One of many tanks, but this one is mine. Yeah, and I have to pay for it and uh, do all the donkey work. <laughs> But you're going to have to clean it and do the water changes. I will. I will. I've been looking after it. Can't you tell? It looks good. Yeah. Andrew, quick, look. 
Here's one of the octosinclus. Yeah, there he is. Look, sucking on. He's, he's not sucking on the wood, but it's a little sucking mouth, like a little catfish. The electric blue rams are in the background. You can see them as well, can't you? Yeah, so these are, they're not, not most beautiful of a fish, but if you've got a planted tank, I would say, there he goes, look, sucking on that wood. Highly recommended. It's good to uh, just keep your maintenance. Uh, the clean-up crew, they just get rid of all the algae, and all that brown, horrible algae, what we all hate, they even eat the horrible brown algae, but also, what's really good about these, don't, don't eat your plants. Anyway... Uh, and they like to live in shoals. Yeah, they like to live in shoals. So we've, we've got quite a few in here, but uh, we haven't seen a lot of them. So uh, I think we'll uh, just get that in focus. But for a for a planted tank, I ain't done. Uh, I ain't done this since I was a little kid, basically. So anyway, time to wrap this one up and let Melanie wrap it up for us. Right, we've seen the octosinclus. So and um, back with Wolfie and I would just like to wrap this video up now as Andrew would say I'd like to thank all his subscribers and everybody who watches him because I think he's amazing but I live with him so and also I hope you enjoyed looking at my tank I am so pleased with it and I hope to show you more updates if you'd like more updates Leave me a comment. Thank you.